Misinformation about COVID-19 and vaccines has been widespread since the start of the pandemic. But how do you know if the information you are reading is true or false? Simple. Find a credible source. To have a credible source, you need to make sure that there's an author. You need to make sure that they have the right background in order to have some sort of opinion on this thing. Whenever we share a COVID-19 or vaccine-related story on our Facebook page, there are many comments with claims that aren't necessarily true. I decided to take some of those comments and debunk them with local experts. One of the most common is that the vaccine does more harm and isn't safe. Vaccines are safe. They do have some side effects like any of them do, um, but generally they're very well tolerated for most people. Dr. Jeffrey O'Toole is a physician at Unity Point Health St. Luke's, but let's not just take his word for it. I also asked Mercy One family medicine doctor David Enns the same question. Even with the COVID vaccines, even though it came out really quick, you know, within a year, which it had to do because we're going through a pandemic, these vaccines have been tested um, through hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people, um, and um, they are safe. They do prevent illness. Another claim that often comes across our page and many others is that if you are vaccinated and get COVID-19, it proves the vaccine doesn't work. Both doctors say that's not the case. You can absolutely still get COVID after having the vaccine, but all that means is that the virus is in you. I think generally the vaccine's working pretty well. People that have been vaccinated tend not to get as sick as those that have been vaccinated um, or may not have any symptoms at all uh, with COVID. Immunologists say the vaccine's goal is to reduce your risk of severe illness, which it largely has done. We have had some people come in the hospital that have been positive for COVID that have had the vaccine, but a lot of our positive cases here recently have been on those that have not been vaccinated. Dubbed anti-vaxxers, the voices of those with the distrust or hesitation in vaccines has gotten louder in recent months. But vaccines have been around for decades and have eradicated deadly diseases and viruses. I mean, one of the reasons we don't hear about polio anymore is because everybody got vaccinated for polio and we don't see it. We don't see, um, you know, kids who aren't walking because polio affected um, their legs. Um, these vaccines work. But vaccines aren't 100% effective. Overall, the COVID vaccines seem to be much more efficient than many other vaccines that people are getting all the time. Generally speaking, vaccines will help. Nothing is perfect. Um, influenza, a successful year, is a 60% protective effect from an influenza vaccine. The COVID vaccines can be much more effective, probably in the high 90s, um, which has been reported all the way along. For those worried about the safety of the COVID vaccines, our local experts say while these were developed quickly in a sense. Vaccine development itself is uh, pretty complicated. However, because we have been doing that for about 200 years now, uh, we, we do have the tools. We know what goes into it. And there's been millions and millions of doses of the COVID vaccine given uh, around the world. Um, we all hear reports of side effects and things like that. Um, but those are very, very small in number compared to the total number of doses that have been given. Doctors say that even if you've had COVID-19, getting the vaccine is still recommended as medical professionals work tirelessly to treat COVID patients and make improvements to the vaccines available. Enns and O'Toole have one final message for Siouxlanders. Bottom line is um, if you're on the fence about getting the vaccine, uh, my recommendation is to absolutely do so. That's the only way we're going to get rid of this pandemic. We're already seeing the mask mandate come back in certain states. Um, if you have questions about it, ask your health care provider, ask family members who have received the vaccine. It's been a long year and a half here, and the sooner we get uh, more people vaccinated, hopefully we're less likely to get more variants that um, could eventually have a variant that the vaccine doesn't work for, and then we have to start over again. In Sioux City, I'm Katie Koppel reporting.